Now let's go ahead and create a gross margin worksheet to go in our dashboard. So let's create a new worksheet here and let's rename this to be gross margin. Let's move it over. Now um, we could come in here and create a brand spanking new pivot table and connect it to our data source or we could take the easy route and just copy this existing pivot table and paste it right in our new worksheet. Now it's sharing the same pivot cache and so there's pivot cache associated with every pivot table object and this pivot cache hits the data so which is your source data here the source worksheet so by doing this by sharing the same pivot cache between these two pivot tables you kinda of save file space so that's kinda of nice and so what you can do here is come in here and add columns and it won't affect the um, other worksheet. So if I come in and I add revenue and remove gross profit, if I go back to my gross profit, notice how um, it wasn't changed. Okay, so let's add a calculated field which is going to be our gross margin. Options formulas calculated field and now our gross profit margin is our profit divided by our revenue and remember our profit is our revenue minus cost of goods sold so we already have another calculated field our actually let me delete this um, our gross profit in here so all we need to do is let me type this in again and um, so we're going to take our gross profit and we're going to divide it by our revenue okay alright so now that we have our gross margin in there let's go ahead and remove our revenue and now let's Format the number. Give me a percentage. Ooh, doggy. Those are some nice gross margins. All right, and then now we're going to do a pivot chart, and that pivot chart will be connected to this pivot table, which we're going to put into our dashboard worksheet. So let's go ahead and do a pivot chart. And for this one, let's just do a um, bar chart. Should be nice. And I'm going to control X, and we're going to put this in our dashboard here. Dashboard worksheet. Let's move this over a little. Cool, so now we have a gross margin, and if we were to come in here and if we, we wanted to um, drill in our um, underlying, our, our pivot chart will change as we drill into the detail on our pivot table. So there's our gross margin report.